हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय सेल्फ पराग जांबुलकर इन लास्ट वीडियो वी हैव सीन डिफरेंट ऑब्जेक्ट रिलेशनशिप्स इन सेल फोर्स सो वी हैव सीन देयर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ रिलेशनशिप वन इज वन टू मेनी एंड अनदर इज मेनी टू मेनी एंड इन वन टू मेनी देयर आर अगेन टू टाइप्स वन इज मास्टर डिटेल एंड अनदर इज लुकअप राइट व्हाट डू बाय मास्टर डिटेल रिलेशनशिप इन मास्टर डिटेल रिलेशनशिप देयर इज स्ट्रांग रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन चाइल्ड ऑब्जेक्ट रिकॉर्ड्स एंड parent object records right while in lookup relationship there is weak relationship between child object records and parent object records right so in last video we have seen everything right we have seen meaning of everything in this video we will see how to implement this relationship in cell phones now see here i have logged in in my developer org now see we'll go to setup we'll search objects here we got this link create objects we'll click on this now see here this is child object and this is parent object right now see in last video we have seen we create relationship field in child object right what we have seen we have to create relationship field in child object right so see in this case college is parent object student is child object and in student object we have to create this relationship field right so here what we will do in student object this is object definition page see here it is written object definition detail now see here here it is written custom fields and relationships right now we have to add one relationship in student object a student table right see here it is written so in student object we have to add this relationship field right we have to add this relationship field now see and college is what college is parent table right parent object college is parent object and this is relationship field now see here we will add it so see custom fields and relationships here we have to click on new okay now see what we have to create here you can see in last video we have seen in college object and student object there is master detail relationship right in college object and student object there is master detail relationship right means we have to create master detail relationship right now see what we have to create master detail relationship then we'll click on next now see then related to see we are creating relationship field in student object and related to what it is related to parent object college right this is college this is a parent object right now see here related to which object college so from here from this drop down we will select college okay then we will click on next okay then field name anything you can give college description it is optional okay help text is also optional okay and remaining thing will keep it default next okay so by default we'll choose visible next next again okay save now see so we have created in student object so see this is student object here you can see student object and this is object definition page right and on this page you can see from this new tab from this new link we have created this relationship right here you can see see we have created master detail relationship related to which table college right and the field label will be college right now see we will enter data into student object so see for that what we have to do we have to click on students okay we will click on go so see now there is no record right so we will create record new student akshay kadam roll number 
department C. Contact number something will enter. Now see, we have created one master data relationship with parent of that college, right? Now see, from this link we can choose college, and for college object already I have entered some data. So from this link we can choose any college. Now see, here I will click. So see, there are three options, right? So I can choose anything. So suppose I am choosing PICT. Okay, save and new because I want to enter again new record. Will enter Varad Joshi, roll number thirty five, department IT, contact number something will enter college again. See here, this is master detail relationship. So from here we'll choose support GCOE again save and new. Will enter. Vipin Dixit, roll number 37, department ENTC, contact number something will enter and college. Again, we have to enter some value for college, right? So, we will click on this and now we will choose PICT, right? So, see, save. Okay, so again, we will click on students. Now see, we have entered three records, right? Suppose see, if I choose Vipin Dixit, so see, it is related to college PICT, right? Now see, here, in colleges object, so see, there are three records, right? Now see, so already this record I have entered. Now see, if I click on this PICT, so here I can see, to this PICT college, there are two students, right? So college is parent object. Right. To this PICT record, there are two students records are associated. Right. There are two students record are associated. One is Akshay Kadam and another is Vipin Dixit. Right. So by this, we can create master data relationship. And one thing we have to remember, we have to create this relationship field always in child table. Keep in mind, we have to keep this relationship field always in child table, child object. In students object definition page, we have created master data relationship and that master data relationship was related to college object because college was parent object, right? Now see, so by this we have created master data relationship. Now see, here, in between staff room and teacher, there is one to many relationship and this one to many relationship is of type lookup, right? This is a subtype lookup. Now see, so now we have to create lookup relationship between this teacher table or teacher object and staff room object, right? Again, same thing. Teacher is child object, right? And we have to remember in child object, we are creating relationship field, right? In child object, we are creating relationship field. So here, staff room is a relationship field. And by this, we are linked with parent object staff room, right? Now see, what we'll do in teacher object, will create relationship field staff room. So see. So what we'll do again, we'll go to setup. Here we will search objects, create objects. Now see. Teacher. This is object definition page of teacher object, right? We'll scroll down. Now see, here it is written. Custom fields and relationships, right? We'll click on this new button a new link click on this new now what we have to create we have to create lookup relationship right here you can see in between teacher object and staff room object there is lookup relationship right so we have to create lookup relationship so we will choose lookup relationship then next then related to right so see so, to whom it is related? It is related to staff room object, right? It is related to this staff room object. So, from here, we will choose staff room. Okay. Then next. Here, we have to enter field name. So, we will keep same. Description, help text, those are optional. Remaining thing, we will keep default. Next. 
Okay. The custom field name you provided staff room on object is can only contain alphanumeric characters. Okay. So there should not be any space. So what we'll do? We'll put underscore. Okay. Then next. Then we'll keep visible. So it should be visible to all the user profiles. Then next. Next, we will keep this default values, save, okay. Now see again we have come to object definition page of teacher table, right. Now see, we will scroll down and here you can see. So see, in custom fields and relationships, so we have created one lookup relationship, right. Here you can see, so in teacher object, in this teacher object, we have created one lookup relationship. We have created one lookup relationship with staff room object, right? With staff room object and field label is staff room only. Now see what we will do. Now we will enter data for teachers object. Now we will click on this. Go. So there is no record. Now we have to enter new data, right? So we will click on new teacher. Here we'll enter data. Parag Zambulkar, Department C, Teacher ID one two three, Staff Room. Right? We got this Staff Room field because of lookup relationship that we have created. Right? Now see, here we have this link. Here you can click, and from this we have to choose. Right? This record is from the Staff Room table, a Staff Room object. So already I have entered data for this staff room object. Now see, from this we have to choose. Suppose I am choosing A304. Okay, save and new. Then Mayur Chavan, department C, teacher ID 234, staff room, we will enter A301, save and new. Teacher name, we will enter Yogesh Hange, Department IT, Teacher ID 421, Staff Room, here, from here, we will enter A304, save, right, now see, so we have entered data like this, okay, so for Yogesh Hange, we have entered Staff Room A304, and this data is from the Staff Room object, right, now see, if you click on this Staff Rooms, if I click on A304, so here you can see for this A304 staff room, we have these two teachers, we have these two faculty, right? One is Parag Zambulkar and another is Yogesh Hange. If we go back, so for A301, there is one record, right? So for this staff room A301, there is one record, right? So in this way, we can create lookup relationship, right? So up till now, we have seen how to create master detail relationship and lookup relationship, right? Now see one important thing we have seen in between master data relationship and lookup relationship. What is the basic difference? In master data relationship, there is a strong bonding. There is a strong relationship, right? And because of that, if we delete any record from this parent table, automatically from the student table, these records will get deleted. For example, see, if I delete this PICT college from this college object, so automatically, see, PICT is mentioned here. PICT is mentioned here. These two records will get deleted. But that is not the case with the lookup relationship. If I delete, suppose if I delete this staff room. So in lookup relationship, these records will not get deleted. These records will be as it is. We will check it. See, we have created master detail relationship between these two objects, right? Now see what we will do. We will delete this PICT college from this college object. Let us see what will happen. We will choose colleges object. Now see, this is PICT. PICT is associated with the two records of students, right? Akshay Kadam and Vipin Dikshit. Now see, suppose I am deleting this PICT college from this college object, right? Now see, I am deleting it. Okay. Okay. So we have deleted PICT record from this college's object, right? Now let us see. So in students, we have only one. Previously, there were three same record we have entered. So, 
this record akshay kadam and another record vipin dikshit both were linked with pict college right vipin dikshit was also related to pict college so both these records got deleted here you can see both these records got deleted right now see in between staff room and teacher there is look up relationship right now see what we will do we will delete staff room a304 so a304 is linked with parag zambulkar and a304 is linked with yogesh anke right let us see what will happen so i am going to delete staff room a304 let us see so staff rooms we have to delete a304 right so we will delete this record a304 Okay, so see, I have deleted A three zero four. Now there are only two. Let us see. Now we'll check teachers. So see, I have deleted A three zero four staff room, right? A three zero four is linked with Parag Zambulkar and Yogesh Anke. But still, both the records are present here. These records, Yogesh Anke and Parag Zambulkar, still are there. If I click here, so see. as we have deleted staff room a304 that's why it is blank but still this parag zambulkar record is there right so in look up relationship if we delete any record from the parent object records from the child table will be as it is but in master detail relationship if we delete any record from the parent object related records from the child object will get deleted automatically this is the difference between master detail relationship and look up relationship so in this video we have seen how to create master data relationship and lookup relationship in cell phone and also we have seen difference between master data relationship and lookup relationship in next video we will see how to create many to many relationship in cell phones so friends i hope you like this video if it is then click on like subscribe to the channel and don't forget to press bell icon so that you will get notification of my next video so stay connected thank you